Hey guys, welcome back for another video. I have upgraded to the new MacBook Pro 14 inch from my M1 MacBook Pro. And now I want to wipe this off and give it to someone else. So before giving it back to someone else, I want to completely wipe it off. So I want to show you the process of completely removing everything. Like you do a factory reset of your phone in a similar way how you can factory reset a MacBook. Pro M1, I will let you know how you can do that. Okay, so for complete reset of your MacBook, what you have to do is you have to go to this Apple logo, click on shutdown. You have to completely shut down your machine. You don't see anything on your touch bar. That is when your MacBook is really shut down. And after that, what you have to do is you have to just hold on to this power button for some time. It will give you loading startup options. At that time, you will go into the recovery mode to reset your Mac. So let's do that. I will go into this recovery mode by just holding the power button for a few seconds. You hear that and you also see that on the screen continue holding for startup options. And as you can see, I now have the options. So let's see what these options are telling me. So as you can see, it is showing me the drive with my name and options i will go into the options and i will click continue it will take some time to load okay now you will have to select your user and have to enter the password i will just quickly enter the password after that you will just click continue once you click continue you get these options to restore from time machine reinstall mac os safari and disk utility so we'll go to disk utility first what we want to do is we want to completely wipe out or wipe off our hard disk or the memory that we have. So in our case, the volume that I have is this one. So what I'll do is I will click on erase. So here you will see erase button and it also shows you erase and reformat the selected volume. So we are going to do that now. So when I clicked on erase, it is just showing me the name and the format. I will just click on erase. To erase or delete the volumes, you will need to fully erase this Mac. This will delete all media, data and settings on all volumes on this Mac. An internet connection will be required to reactivate this Mac and reinstall Mac OS. So we are going to completely delete everything and then we'll install the Mac OS again. So let's do that. Click on this erase Mac and restart. We will click on that. And now it will start the process of deleting everything. And once it is done, I'll show you the next step of installing or reinstalling the Mac OS on this device. Now it asked me to select the language. I just selected English there. Now it wants an internet connection. So I'll have to provide the internet connection. What you can do is you can go to this right top corner and click on the Wi-Fi icon. I will just quickly enter the Wi-Fi information and we'll be back. Once you enter the Wi-Fi details, then it will start processing. And once that is done, it will tell you to remove your Apple ID as well. So it is asking me to enter my Apple ID and password that was previously used with this Mac. So I have to do that now. After doing that, what you have to do is you have to reinstall the Mac OS here. So I will just click on the reinstall Mac OS Monterey option and just click continue and continue it will start loading the installation i will not give you all the steps here what you can do here is i will show you the end product and after that what happens if you still see the files or not i will show you that few things that you have to keep in mind is to have the power connected at all the times when you are reinstalling mac os otherwise it will complain about it if you have less than 50 percent the usual stuff other than that there are two major steps so first step is to completely wipe out the hard disk or memory where your everything all your data sets in the first step we deleted everything from this macintosh hd hard disk and in the second step we are just in reinstalling or installing the mac os back so currently it says four hours something like that so it will take some time to reinstall mac os i will just do that meanwhile all these steps that i've mentioned in the video you will find those steps in the description below so make sure to read those steps follow along with this 
video and you will not have any problems so you will be able to completely delete all the files completely reset or factory reset your macbook if you follow these instructions by the book obviously if you're using intel mac the way you go into recovery mode could be different this is for the m1 macbook pros but only that step will be different i will list that step in the description below for the intel based mac os versus the m1 pro so m1 pro steps are in the video intel one will be in the description below that you can follow along so mac os setup has just finished so now you can see it is as good as a new macbook that you get out of the box now you can just set it up like a new macbook so basically these are the steps i will list all the steps in the description you will find those steps and if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comment section if you have any other way of resetting the macbook completely if i missed anything or if you have a, another way so if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel see you in the next one